Hi guys, welcome to the Calling It Out talk show. I'm Ben Macha. And I'm Sean Francis, and today we are going to be talking about elitism. So, uh, recently in the news, this guy called Russell Tan Wajian, who's a recent graduate of Raffles Institution. Graduated, uh, man? I thought he's still studying there. Graduate, lah. Sounds like a fucking kid, man. Okay, so anyways, he wrote an article called Elitism Can Be Good for Society. <laughs> Slow clap. But okay, here's the thing. Uh, he, he, he got met with a lot of hatred online, a lot of criti- uh, criticism, a lot of flack for his article. But here's the thing, I completely agree with him. 100%. I think he's spot I, on. I, I think elitism is good okay. as well. But there's a difference between being privileged and, and elite. Okay. You see, if, if you were born into it, right, you know, and like, uh, yeah, your parents got money and everything like that, then you fail, lah, then you go and study some overseas. I'm not uh-huh. saying that's what happened to him, lah, you know, but like, yeah, it happens, lah, okay? Yeah. Then you're not really elite, you are like, like, privileged, you know? Elite would be like, you know, your parents fucking poor, all that kind of shit, right? But somehow you still manage to become a dictator. You're so fucking weird. <laughs> okay, but, any, but anyways, this, I, I agree with what he's saying, uh, but, but with, with an emphasis on the definition of the word good, now, I say that elitism can be good for society, and I say that I agree with that, in the sense that the good that comes out of that is fairly narrow, and it benefits a narrow strata of people. So it's, it's good for them? Yes, that's specifically it. I could concede that it is good um, in that it removes a certain bureaucratic process, in that you just pick from a small pool of people. Like it, your son to run the country. <laughs> We're, we're going to get arrested, you know, very soon. We're going to get locked up in the ISA. It's going to be your fault, man. It's okay. They can hire me. I will tell the guards that it's your fault. But I'll tell them, give me a job. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, I think it's good as well. Um, economically, to a certain extent. But it comes at a very heavy trade-off. And, that comes with, and that's the trade-off of um, our soul... Of, of what we respect, of the livability of this country. And, and, and in, in, in that, on that note, I want to say that we do not live in a meritocracy. Yep, so I yeah. put that very clearly. I mean, that's that. just one of the other things we can strike off our pledge because it's just like bullshit. Uh. Yeah, we live in a selective meritocracy. Yeah, but it's a big word. What, what does meritocracy mean? Meritocracy is just the basic concept that if you work hard, if you're good at something, you should be... Uh, duly remunerated for it. Oh, so basically it's like that lie that we tell every kid in like secondary school. Uh. Yes, Ben. You study hard, right? One day you get a good job. <laughs> yeah. And, and then okay. you work for the guy who's the son who, who's uh, of the boss at the company. That's better. Then. Let's, let's go with that. Let's always use that analogy from now on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. So this is why I say it's a selective meritocracy. Have you ever heard of Desmond Khan or Bu Jinfeng? No. No, right? See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Desmond Khan is the first local author slash poet to win the National Indie Excellence Award. Twice. But he's not in a banker. Once. He's not a banker. Or he's son a son of a like, business person. Yes, good. You're getting it. Yeah. Alright, no, but you see, he, he's the first local author to win this prestigious literary award and he won it twice, okay? Meaning that the first place, he tied with himself. He tied himself first place for one of his books and another one of his books. We don't hear about that. Bu Jinfeng, on the other hand, first is the first local filmmaker to be invited to the International Critics Week at the Cannes Film Festival, biggest fucking film festival in the world. We, are these people uh, rich? Are they considered the elite? Do they, do they thrive in Singapore's uh, meritocratic system? No, it's because the, the elite people who you know, go to NIE and become elite teachers for the elite schools, right? Uh-huh. Don't teach this in their elite classes. Yes, so that's what I'm saying about selective meritocracy. We, we reward people based on their merits only if their merits are within this narrow it fits field. The Singaporean mold. The Singaporean right? mold yeah. of, of banker, lawyer, something in the finance sector. And, and, and here's another thing that I find quite disturbing about elitism, which is that when you have a whole bunch of people at the top concentrated from a certain school or institution, the inbreeding. Oh my god, <laughs> you're horrible eh? <laughs> but okay, but when you have that, then it becomes, there becomes a sort of a coattail phenomenon in that I, I wouldn't want too many people from the same school at the top. You know what I mean? That does not allow for diversity of discourse at all. Imagine if we had a parliament full of people from, let's say, the military or from RI, you know what I mean? Uh, how would there ever but be different points? Parliament. <laughs> yeah. That's just the Singapore Parliament. General election for general. 
then you spoil my jokes, you know, like it's sarc- <laughs> sarcastic. And then once you explain it, it's not funny anymore. <coughs> On this topic of elitism, I just want to end off with a very beautiful quote from the most elite of elite that you could ever think of, Mr. Albert Einstein. Himself. So you're going to say Madonna. Right? How is she elite? I don't know, like Hollywood fame thing. Okay, but okay, I want to end off with this quote from uh, Albert Einstein. And, he, and the quote basically goes, if a if you judge a fish based on its ability to climb a tree, it will forever live its life believing that it's stupid. But what if that fish is a son of a shark and then it's still the like top of the food chain because of who its dad was? I'm going to cut this then video here tree, before we get arrested. Does the tree okay? really matter? <laughs> the tree is arbitrary. <laughs> Alright, we've done a whole bunch of talking about elitism in Singapore, but now we want to hear what you think. Leave us a comment in the comment section below. Especially if you're from the elite 1%, please, we want to hear your elite comments from the YouTube channel that nobody watches. <laughs> well, uh, like, share, subscribe, and do hit us up on Patreon. We are broke starving artists, and if you fund us, we maybe might get to eat some dinner. Yeah, so if you're elite <laughs> with a lot of money, please send us some of money so we can actually not talk about you. That's how politics works in America. Next episode's coming up next week. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye.